welcome back to my channel. It's a girl, Jackie O. Yeah. This is gonna be a May favorites video, which I rarely do favorites video anymore. So that's how you know it's real. Now, before we get into this month's favorites, this video was sponsored by Audible. A lot of you guys are familiar with the service. I just started using it. It's really hard for me to like sit down and physically read a book, but I love podcasts. And what I love about Audible it, it, is it gives me the best of both worlds. It's like a really long extended podcast. They basically contain a selection of audiobooks that come in all different genres, comedy, shows, science fiction, thriller, you name it, they have every single genre. You get a 30 day trial when you sign up, which you know I did. The app is free, you just download each individual book. The first book that I had ordered was a book that I've been wanting to read for a very long time. It is a book by one of my favorite pastors. It's called Crash the Chatterbox by Pastor Stephen Furtick. He really does go in about just that inner voice that stops us from really, really living out the potential that our lives are meant to be. He's literally like reading you for filth in the best, most godly way possible. It just teaches you to really stay focused. I'm almost like halfway done with the book and I literally just started it like yesterday yesterday but i'm already an avid fan and listener of pastor stephen furtick i would highly 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 recommend it not only if you're a christian just anyone that is just really having a hard time with distraction it also reminds me a lot about like being on social media i get a lot of comments from people who feel like they need to tell me what kind of person i'm supposed to be what kind of christian i'm supposed to look like and you know what sorry but i don't pray to you i pray to jesus okay i get that people really do mean well but the book in my opinion, helps you decipher when something is coming from a place of godly wisdom and when something is coming from a place of shameful and being negative and condescending. They're completely different things and it just helps you kind of decipher between the two and when you should follow that and when you shouldn't. Anyway, I thought I would recommend that book. Number two on my roster comes courtesy of you guys. It's from Charlemagne the God. I know he says some really side eye worthy things, but it was recommended by you guys. And as soon as I finish this one from Pastor Stephen Furtick, I'm gonna go on to um, his book, which is called Black Privilege. I have no idea what it's about. Even the title is side eye worthy, but it's just the fact that a couple of you guys have recommended it and now I'm intrigued. I'm not gonna just judge the book by its cover. So anyway, thank you Audible for sponsoring this video. I know I'm rambling. I'm gonna put timestamps in for you guys. And by the way, you can actually get a free 30 day trial just like I did by going on audible.com slash Jackie Ina. Just use that link. I'm gonna put it in the bio. Please be sure to join the Jackie Ina family by clicking the subscribe button down here somewhere out in which direction it is. So I got a lot of stuff. It's been a long month. I've been traveling. The first thing I'm gonna talk about is actually a hair product. This is the Main Choice Re Revitalize and Refresh Conditioner. It is a co-washing conditioner, but it smells, it smells like cupcakes. It smells like what being saved, I would imagine smells like. I feel like Drake would smell like this conditioner. I honestly, like next time you just go to Target, just open this and smell it, it smells so good. And it makes your hair really soft. For the win, drugstore hair care products, black on come through. Now I've heard a lot of great things about hyaluronic acid and I've actually used some, but none of them have done for my skin what this one has done right here. I cannot stop screaming from the mountaintops about how incredible this serum is. This is the Guidance to Glow Skincare. My esthetician creates this line. This is her line of skincare, so you know it's like the real deal. It is their Copper Complex Peptide Hyaluronic Acid. I get this from her shop. So I'm gonna try to find her website and link it down below for you guys. I don't make a red cent from recommending this product in any way, shape or form. But when I tell you this is a serious, very serious, like this is actually, ba this actually balances my skin out really well and it keeps me from having to blot all day. Like usually this face would not be this flawless two hours after a makeup application. I would have broken through a little bit of oil beads right in this area, like at the very minimum and probably around like right here. I actually feel like I have a shot at normalcy in life, like a little tiny shot. And I feel incredible now because my skin is not, like, I can put on makeup and I won't have to worry about looking like a fool in like two, three hours. Like no matter how mattifying the primer you use, no matter how mattifying that foundation is, if you don't have you some good skincare, girl, Girl! Hyaluronic acid is supposed to help balance the moisture on your face. This is the first step I use. This stuff is bomb, like bomb. No matter how much I put on top of it, it still works. I'm never going to not use this. As a matter of fact, I already stocked up on my three extra bottles before I did this video. Shout out to you, Fenia. Fenia is the girl that created this product, who's freaking amazing. She's so sweet. She lives here in California. If you are in LA, please look up Guidance to Glow on Instagram and tell Jackie Oak sent you. I could not be more thankful because I felt like this was the one skincare product that my skin was like begging me for that I didn't know I needed. So I'm just 
I'm glad we finally found each other. Why am I talking about the serum like it's a man? You know what? I'm going to keep the rest of the skincare stuff to the end of the video. Let's, let's stick to what matters more, the makeup part. Let's get to that first. I remember the first time I tried the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation and I was wowed, but like not wowed enough to make it a part of my daily routine. Here we are almost a year later and I'm doing just that. It has the perfect amount of coverage and it works really, really good with the brush. I usually think that these are gimmicks and I'm like, don't buy the brush that it comes with. This just so happened to have been given to me when this product launched. So of course I'm gonna try it. Up. So I tried the two and I honestly like I've been using this brush with other cream stick foundations It's a really really good brush. This is an amazing foundation. I wore this to my brand cast speech Shout out to everyone who saw my brand cast speech. It was a huge mega huge It was like over 2,000 people um, in the audience and I had the chance to speak to advertisers about <clears throat> the importance of investing in and working with people of color in advertising and in beauty campaigns and marketing. I wore this foundation. I had a long day of events, press. I had like two other speaking engagements that day at like 10 a.m. And then my day ended at around 10 p.m. I didn't blot not one time. Thank you, Hourglass, for making this amazing foundation. My oily skin thanks you. I really do. I love you. This next brush is a brush that I usually look at and I'm like, e yeah, I would use that. And now I'm like hooked on it. It is the Sigma P89 brush. It is a bake precision brush. And Sigma, they make all of these like weirdly abstract shaped brushes that you just would never think anyone would ever need. And then you find a need for it and you're like, oh my God, that's freaking genius. They're freaking genius. Let me just tell y'all about this brush. I'm gonna show you exactly what I do with this brush. The way that it gets into my NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer scoops it right up and oh my God, it gives you the, it gives you the softest amount of product right under that eye. I can't think of a better brush for all of my cream concealer products. I just kind of feel like flat paddle brushes are a little too thick for products like that. This recently became my new favorite everyday blush even though I don't wear makeup every day. It is the Milani Red Vino Bake Powder Blush. It is so, 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 so pretty. I always want to like bite my teeth into these because they look like ice cream. I don't know, maybe I'm just greedy. It could be that. It could be a combination of both things. This is the prettiest, like, I feel like deep red is exaggerating a bit, but I think it's like the prettiest rosy, it's like a rosy plum. If you have medium to deep dark skin tones, you are going to love this blush. But the lighter you are, the more pigmented it's going to be. Even me, I have to pull back because it's so pigmented, but it, once you get it on, it's absolutely beautiful. I think you can wear it every day, and Milani makes some of my favorite blushes. Ever since the Kim Thai Lash, that's all I call it, is Kim Thai Lash. I know it's Kate Face Beauty. Ever since this lash launched, I've not shut up about it. Like, I'm a, I'm obsessed with this lash. It's the perfect amount of drama, girl. They're thick. They're long as hell, and this is like a good like nighttime. I'm ready to party. I'm ready to party. I did not come here to play with you, Lash. Congratulations, Kim. I heard the Lash is doing really well. She's done several restocks since it launched, and I'm truly, truly not giving you a biased opinion. I'm telling you that when I wear this Lash, I get like stalked. Like people are like, what is that? Okay, so Shea Moisture had to mess around and discontinue Mandalay Dust Bronzer for whatever reason. We haven't heard yet no word from Shea Moisture I'm just saying they say that the bronzer is out of stock but I've never seen a complete web page of a product taken off of Target.com or taken off of Ulta.com just because it was out of stock I'm just saying usually the web page is still active and you can actively find and search for the product even though when you go and try to order it it will say out of stock but you know that's so there's just not a lot of bronzers that I really like that are dark enough for my skin tone. But one that I've actually, I have been kind of rocking with that I've been messing with today. And not only did I use it as a bronzer, but I use it in the crease of my eyes. Becca Maui Night Soleil Sunlit Sun, Sunlit Bronzer and the color is Maui Nights. This is their darkest one. This is not something that I would usually gravitate towards. I'm just usually used to something that's a little darker and not as red. So I wasn't expecting it to work. But oddly enough, it did, and I was very happy with it. It's definitely on the lighter side. I thought this was too light for me. I thought this was a highlight, and boy, was I wrong. My favorite mascara, and this mascara has been one of my favorites since the fall when it launched, is the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot. I kind of feel like I featured this and talked to you guys about this before. When you first get a new mascara, you know how it's like 
a little too wet you kind of want it to get to like its prime which is like two weeks into the tube when it gets a little dry down okay that's what this mascara does when it's brand new bond formula it really thickens it really separates but it doesn't feel too too wet and it's also not too too dry and of course you can't be mad at a maybelline price tag come through that was my invisible high five I'm trying to give you melanin, melanin Monroe, spring goddess vibes or whatever. Two of my favorite lipsticks that give me that look all the way, hands down. Your lips were better in like a peachy tone. One of them I'm wearing now, it is the YSO Rouge Volup Shine. I always have to read the stain because it's so long. In the color number nine. This is just the prettiest, most basic girl lipstick that I own and I live for it I really do these are super hydrating and I like the fact that I don't need to wear a liner it's good as is Dennis doesn't like this color very much he says it's too nude and I'm like babe that's the point Duh. honestly with all the liquid lipstick obsessed matte culture going on right now it's just nice to have some gloss Estee Lauder also recently launched a whole slew of lipsticks this one is one that I've been reaching for a lot lately they're pretty much the exact same color scheme. This is number 530 in Sly Wing, and it's pretty much just the same thing. It almost kind of looks like a milky peach, but honestly, because of the fact that my lips are pigmented and dark around the perimeter, I kind of like that look. It To me, it just looks really fresh and, and summery and, and not as polished as like wearing like an actual lipstick with liner and like the whole shebang. This looks more fresh faced and um, it's a little bit more effortless. So I pretty much keep one of these in my purse at all times. Now, while we're on the subject of lips, the Tatcha lip balm, who would have thought I, a Tatcha lip balm? I would definitely say this is like the ultimate bougie, but you know what? I like it and I, I'm i not even gonna front. I just put another one in my cart. If you love you some Tatcha products, I'm gonna recommend their Gold Spun Lip Balm. First of all, not only is the gold, come on, I mean, really you should see this thing when it's brand new like first open like not used it looks like a collector's item like it's just so pretty to look at this isn't just a gimmicky product this is very very hydrating it's very moisturizing and word on the street is when you put it on like a lot of times people tell me that they see the gold i can't see it probably because i'm not paying attention and it smells really good they have like a pink kind of like a peachy lip on too that one it's it's got kind of like the same formula but this one is just prettier to look at i just like I do have both of them. I got one in my computer room and then I got the other one in my nightstand. The next product that I'm going to talk about before we get into skincare is the Natasha Denona Duo Glow Super Bougie. Um, these blushes, what are they called? They're Duo. Oh, it's called the Duo Glow. I just recently got this one in the color Rayo and I saw it and I was like, yeah, probably not really something I would use. And then the other day I was doing my makeup and feeling a little spontaneous than, than I normally am. And I literally... And mind you, I'm not usually wowed by blushes. First swipe, I was like, oh, wow. Like I was blown away. I audibly gasped. I usually go for more matte blushes just because I have oily skin, but these do not highlight texture. I don't know how the hell she gets these so finely milled without looking chunky, without sitting on top of the skin. They blend, they melt right into the skin. And it's like a built-in, I'm wearing it now by the way, if you can't already tell, I keep like pointing towards my face. It's got like a built-in highlight. Um, this is kind of like a peachy, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what she puts in these. I, I honestly don't, but there's a difference. And I don't know how to describe that difference. There is a difference between, there's a reason why these products are so expensive. I haven't found out why, but there is a difference. I feel it, I see it, damn it. And I'm here to tell you that I'm co-signing. Natasha, maybe you could just knock off a, a, a Jefferson or two, or whoever the hell is on the $20 bill. But these are bomb. These are so bomb. This one's more on the peachy side, the one that I swatched earlier. Then she, no, I'm just kidding, sorry, that's pink. This one is peachy. This is Duo Glow in Alba. This is the peachy one, so pretty. At first, I thought these were gonna be too icy, too frosty, and boy, was I wrong. This one's definitely a bit more on the cool side. Alba is for my glow getters that like more golden tones. But believe it or not, I actually like the silver pink one more. I do. I think that there's definitely a little bit more shine. And then y'all are not even gonna believe. I literally feel like she made these two, these next two products for every girl. I'm not featuring all of these. I'm just featuring one of them as my favorites. But now, since we're talking about it, why not? Might as well go in. I honestly think that she made these for Chocolate Divas. I honestly do. I feel like she took a picture of Viola Davis to the lab or Kelly Rowland to the lab and was like, here, work with this. And she created these two. Honestly, they're freaking gorgeous. I'm gonna quickly run through these eyeshadow palettes because you've seen them on my channel before. One is the Loaded Eyeshadow Palette. I got to be a part of this campaign. 
I got to be a part of this campaign on that Nars YouTube channel. I never really was checking for Nars eyeshadows like that, to be honest. And I actually, no shade, but I said that to them like on the shoot. I was like, yeah, yeah, I don't really use Nars eyeshadows, but this palette's kind of popping. And they were like, exactly. So apparently they did some kind of juju to this palette and reformulated the eyeshadows. And these are supposed to be more amped up versus their old traditional formula. I love this palette. I think it's got the best of what you would need in an everyday eyeshadow palette and i love using it with other colors i am wearing it today i have on this color this color this color and this color and i've used it here on my channel so you guys already know how i feel about it i'm not going to talk about any of jouet's new skinny dip collection because i know how y'all be feeling away about new collections that we call favorite three days later even though that does happen okay don't be judging me but i will talk about their springtime in paris palette which is <sighs> Jouer, you did that. This palette does the same thing for me as the NARS Loaded Shadow Palette in that they're both basics, but one's got a little bit more fleshier tones, uh, warmer tones, and this one's got more cool tones. This one's got my pink and my blues and my purple looks covered, and then this one's got all of my golds and my everyday, my peaches, and everything in between. Between these two, you literally have a color for every eyeshadow combination you could possibly think of. I thought I was gonna have to roast this next product until I tried it, and I was like, thank God it's good because my friend created it. And do you know how awkward that would be? That would be so freaking awkward. The product that I'm talking about is the Caroline Herons Curated and Created Double Cleanse Method with Pixie. First of all, Caroline, congratulations for finally taking the Pixie cleansing oil to where it needed to be. Because the first one that they had was, it was just, no, it was, heavy it didn't rinse off the right way caroline herons is an amazing skincare blogger she's been in the game for a long time and i'm really happy she got to collaborate with pixie i truly believe that this is not a product that she just slapped her name on because i feel like if she did this would be a lot like the old cleanse off oil and it's not at all what you get is basically a two-part cleansing method of the cleansing balm then you have like a cleansing cream on the other side i've never used a cleansing cream it kind of feels like putting lotion on your face except it actually rinses off my skin is not dry after using this this cleansing balm rinses off beautifully this is the first and only cleansing balm that i have from the drugstore that i actually use trust and will recommend to you guys this is the hangover rx primer replenishing primer and setting spray that i initially thought i'm not gonna lie it was gonna be a gimmick because i'd be like i'm i'm like how great can it be? It smells like coconut water. I don't use this to set my makeup. I do use it on top of to kind of melt things down. I know that sounds very gimmicky. Use this to melt it, but it does work. Very refreshing, great for your skin. They're cruelty free, silicone free, alcohol free. Another product that I want to talk about a little bit on the fairer price point is the Rose L Primer Toner. This one is from Bahi Cosmetics. It's basically like a rose water spray very refreshing it is very refreshing i use this as a final step it's got vitamin c rose water grapefruit extract aqua glycol cold pressed oils and all these reds and greens if you want to support a black owned indie business hey and you're also looking for something at a slightly lower price point then i would definitely check this out i actually find that this is a little bit more travel friendly because it's a little tiny smaller and another product that i've been using from the same company it is the sunflower seed serum considering the fact that i'm a avid skincare like snob the fact that i've broken all um, like that's a lot that's a lot for me first of all it's loaded with all these plants and herbs looking all fancy schmancy i put it on and it feels like it's gonna be heavy but my skin just soaks it right up i'm telling you go on their testimonials or go on their twitter page and they will show you some serious before and afters of the serum like serious you can buy from this brand also knowing that it's like the homemade approach all natural this day sold out for a reason so don't be mad at me if it's not available i'm sorry it's just that in my opinion speaks for itself one mask that i've been using a lot lately only because i trust the skincare brand i use almost everything they put on the market is the pure blue agave mask i don't have like any products from pure that i don't like this is an energizing peel off mask the blue part is cool whatever um but it's not what really attracts me to this mask first of all it smells amazing it has a really cool refreshing smell and feel i've gone through two of these already this is my third one it is a peel off mask i think i might have mentioned that and it just really makes the skin feel really soft really hydrated really plumped really moisturized this is why it's so hard for me to do skincare videos because i'm constantly doing the same thing with different products and i think people feel like they have to keep up and you absolutely do not you need to find a routine what products that you use 
is up to you completely. This is just one of the masks that I've been incorporating in my skincare routine the past couple months. It's one of their newest launches. It's amazing. And I also have a coupon code for this one. Please keep a lookout for that in the info box. Last two products I'm gonna talk about, I'm gonna be very quick with this, is the Lancome Visionaire Crescendo. It is their first ever at-home peel. It's supposed to transform your skin in a month. When I tell you I noticed immediate results, I noticed immediate results. The only con about this product is it smells really, 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 really strong. It has a very strong scent. And I, this is coming from someone who appreciates the scent, girl. If you're looking for something that's going to like shed your skin like a snake, it's not going to be this. This is a very gentle, I can't, can I say gentle? I don't know. Let me look for the right word. Basically, this is not a, this is not the type of peel that's going to keep you out of commission for weeks and have you looking crazy and you won't have to like worry about covering your face and not, not wearing, not going out in public. But you will definitely want to wear SPF when you are going through this process. I actually want to do it again. I know you're not supposed to do them very often, but I loved, I, I just, I loved the whole process. I really did. The person that recommended this to me was well in her 50s and she told me that she saw like wrinkles reduced all of her colleagues were like girl what are, what's going what the, the face is sitting what's good and she said that she saw a decrease in wrinkles fine lines which a lot of that i don't have but i just wanted to share with you guys that i know other people who have used this at every age and at every phase in life they've thumbs up this product and here i am adding to that list and the last product that i want to talk about that i always have to smell anytime i see it or pick it up is the far sally unicorn essence as a primer, I don't use this as a primer. I use this as a serum. I like the way that this works actually really, really well with my hyaluronic acid. I feel like they both improve the overall moisture of my skin. Now, while they are all over Instagram and they totally look gimmicky, like I can completely understand why someone would think all of their products are gimmicky, but they're actually not at, like at all. I know that if I'm using anything from this brand, I'm getting a good quality ingredient. I'm getting a influencer and a youtuber with her husband who worked hard to create this product they are genuinely good people this stuff is bomb i'm almost done with this one i just randomly pulled this out of my drawer and i was like why don't i use this and i haven't put it down since i like this as a serum it's very hydrating right now i'm getting my life out of this serum. Thank you so much for watching this video. That's pretty much the end. I know it's long-winded, but that's usually how favorites are, especially when you have been out of the game for a couple months. My bad, y'all, I'm so sorry. Now, don't forget that thumbs up help not only my videos, but my channel. So please be sure to do so on your way out. And while you're here, I mean, you know what to do. You know what time it is, okay? Go ahead and click one of these videos. Don't be shy. I'll be here all night. I'll be here as long as you need me to. And enjoy, bye.